everyone, so um, I'm doing another video, and it is, as you can tell by the title, it is a cosmetology school Q&A. As you guys know, I graduated on July 24th, and it is August 3rd, so um, yeah, I did take my theory while I was in school, and not every school allows that though, so I will say that. Um, my school allows you to take it um, when you First, hit 13, you are allowed to take the theory part of your test. You are not allowed to take a practical until you hit the allotted amount of hours that you need, which here in Maryland it is 1,500. So, yeah. Um, we are not allowed to take our practical until we hit 1,500 hours, which I hit it on July 25th. At like 4 o'clock, I hit... 1300 or 1500 hours and I was done I no longer had to go um I went the following day I didn't clock in or anything but I went the following day for a graduation because there was three graduations back to back it was mine Monday my friends on Tuesday and then another friend on Wednesday practical. on Monday which was the 31st and I passed so I am a licensed cosmetologist which I am extremely, extremely ecstatic about. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just get into it. So the first question is, do you think you are ready for the world of cosmetology now after graduating? Um, I don't know. I know that I know this stuff clearly. I was able to pass both of my tests on the first try. Um, and I did have plenty of clients <clears throat> while being at school I think I just need to get my um, confidence up on my abilities and as well as build up my portfolio and um, really decide what I want to do with my career now and get my anxiety under control and my shyness um, and I think after that I'll be a-okay. Um, the next question is, would you recommend your cosmetology school? Yes, I would. Um, it was one of the best. It was Empire. And so there's empires all over the world. And there's, in other states, there's plenty of them in one state. In Maryland, there's only two. And so I went to the one in Glen Burnie. And it is... It's the better of the two, I will say that. Um, but Empire is a great school. I would definitely recommend my or recommend my location, only because of the fact that um, the tech level teacher she's amazing, and I don't know if I would have I don't know if I would have passed my practical. So yeah, I would definitely me. recommend recommend my location. Next question is, what was your favorite part about cosmetology school? Um, I think for me, my favorite thing about it was learning the different things that I didn't know, um, like braiding and hair cutting and how, uh, now I can kind of look at a picture and do a haircut based on the picture, um, not 100% of the way because I'm not the best hair cutter, but I can do it well enough, um. I also really like the fact that we became, like, everybody there became, like, a family to me, so, I don't know, I just really, that was probably my favorite part of really just making the friends that I did and having the educators that I did, um, it was a really great time. Uh, what was your least favorite part of cosmetology school? Um, probably the drama that was there and, like, perms. I did not like perms at all. I was so happy that I never once got a perm on the floor, and I was extremely sad I got away with that, so, yeah. Um, what is your plan now that you are licensed? I don't really know. Probably to, I'll probably do a bunch of hair videos on this channel now, um, because that was always something I wanted to do, 
and be able to say, well, I'm licensed instead of being like, well, I'm not a licensed cosmetologist. So I don't really know what I'm talking about, but why not? But like now I know what I'm talking about. So yeah. And, um, being able to just do hair as I want to, you know, whenever I want to, because I have How going to cosmetology school changed how you take care of your own hair. Um, I was doing the worst things to my hair. Uh, I was coloring it and relaxing it and bleaching it while relaxing it and like it wouldn't be the same time or it wouldn't be in the same month it would probably be like several months I have changed away that. from me because I don't color it as much um well I mean I don't change the color as much I still color my hair a lot um I get trims I never once got trims before because I just felt like if I get trims it's gonna be shorter and uh, it's taking away the fact that I got length and but in all actuality, it's just breaking off, so I'm still gonna have the same length. Um, I barely ever, like, I used heat protectant, but, like, I wouldn't let it, I would spray it on so my hair was wet, and then I'd straighten my hair. Um, and now I'm going natural. It, next month in September, it will be a year of being natural. So, yeah, I still have relaxer in my hair, because I'm not doing the big chop. But, um, I have quite a bit of growth without a relaxer so I want to say like it's that much like it's half and half of it because I do get it trimmed out quite a bit of the um relaxed part but yeah so that's how pretty much I've changed doing my hair I use different hair um products and I'm natural um what was the hardest thing about cosmetology school uh I think the hardest thing for me was the confidence, I never felt 100% sure that this is what I wanted to do or that I was that good at it, um, even though I would get compliments on it and stuff like that. Like, I wasn't 100% sure that that's, that I was good. So, I think that's the hardest thing and getting along with a whole bunch of females because I'm really not, uh, I'm really not that person. What is one thing that they really I didn't teach you makeup they really didn't touch upon makeup that much like we did a lot of makeup but that was really just what we wanted to do like we didn't really have that much time to really learn about it like we watched a whole bunch of um videos in pre-salon and same with at school we just did our own makeup and our own um like we didn't do our own but we did our own thing with makeup the teachers didn't really teach us anything, and the book didn't really do anything either, so that was really just, they didn't really teach us all that. Was there any drama? Yes, a whole bunch of girls. In the very beginning, there's more drama than what there is at the end. There's still drama at the end, but after a while, you start realizing there's a whole bunch of girls, and you just start being fine with it being a whole bunch of girls, and you end up becoming more like a family, so nobody's really fighting and stuff like that. Um... And there was also drama because people were stealing. That was the main issue, even with it just being girls. It was just a whole bunch of theft going on. And I'm not going to lie and say that that does not happen because it does. The educators and stuff, they may not want to believe that that's happening. But people do steal. So keep your name on stuff. Keep your eyes on your station. Keep your eyes on your um, kit. Stuff like that because people will steal your stuff. Because um, it happened to me from pre-salon all the way to when I graduated, so it will happen to you. Um, did you ever get nervous before doing a client? Yes, every single time I had a client, unless it was like somebody that I knew, which was really rare. Um, I did have a couple of returning clients that I knew, so it wasn't that bad, but every single time that I had a new client, I was nervous every single time I was done like even if it was a returning client and it was something different that they was that they were getting I was nervous like I wasn't sure if it looked good but anytime I did flexi rods I was afraid that it wasn't gonna look good um so yeah I was nervous almost every single client um what made you go to cosmetology school it was just something that had always been something that I did um hair coloring like me doing my own hair color kind of made me really enjoy it making my own hair sentence really made me enjoy um the cosmetology world so it was just something that i really really enjoyed doing um cutting my own bangs and stuff like that like that was something that i just did all the time cutting my 
doll's heads that I was, when I was a little kid, I used to do that. Um, so, it was just something that I really, really liked to do. Um, sorry, I thought I said spider. Um, uh, what was the next question? What would you say to someone who has always wanted to go to cosmetology school but is scared to? Um, I would say just really research schools around your area. Um, go on tours. See how you like the environment. See if you can go more than once to just check out the school because you don't know if you really want to go. Um, because it is a lot of money to put out there and end up hating it. But... I also say that even if it's something that you don't stick with, at least if you give it a try, then you know if you like it or not, instead of never going and that being where you belong. So, yeah. Um, what motivated you to go on the days you didn't want to? Um, the license, not wanting to quit. Um, I didn't want to drop out like I dropped out in high school, so I wanted to finish and it was a lot of, that's a lot of money to start something and not finish it and not even get anything from it so, so it was, it was i had to do even if i didn't want to go so yeah so it was just something that i had to do i didn't want to like i said drop out like i did in high school um even though i ended up getting my ged it was still something that i didn't want to do to my family or to myself um because i didn't want to be the type of person that starts something but quits and it was more of definitely at the end that i really didn't want to go anymore um i didn't really want to go in the middle either but it was really dragging at the end so i was like i really don't want to go anymore um i was done but it was something i pushed through and I knew that in the end, none of that, I didn't want to be paying back a loan that I just didn't even get anything from. Like, that's a lot of money. Like, that was like $21,000 that I pulled out that now I'm going to be paying back like $15,000 back because a lot of that was like grants. The other like $6,000 was grants. So, I'm not gonna sit there and pay back $15,000 for no kind of reward. Like, no. So, I definitely pushed myself. That's what motivated me to go every single day. And my friends that I had that either graduated or were still there or that I didn't want to um, join in their footsteps of dropping it helped. So, and I didn't want to be like Frenchie from Greece who was a beauty school dropout. Like, she dropped out of high school and then went to beauty school and then dropped out. Like, no, I didn't want to do that. So, I wanted to finish. Um, what made you push through all the challenges and accomplish this goal? Like I said, so it's basically kind of like the same question, kind of. Um, but there were a lot of challenges that were happening this entire journey. So, what pushed me was my family, like my mom. I didn't want her to be disappointed in me for dropping out or um, have to tell her that, hey, I dropped out. Like, I didn't want to have to do that. So I kept pushing. I didn't want it to be like, oh, well, because I had all this going on that I dropped. I didn't want that either. And I didn't want it to be a longer journey of having to drop and then go back later. I didn't want that. So, I was going to get what I started, what I went there for in the first place, what I started this journey for, which was my license. Um, I was going to go, get so it. that's what pushed me, was myself, was not letting down my family, um, not letting down my mom, and this was something I wanted, like, I wanted to prove to myself that even with everything else going on, I could do this, so... Yeah. Um oh, sorry. Um next question is 
how long so is cosmetology depends. school? So, um, that depends on your scheduling with the school, how many hours you have to get, um, because every state is different. different. You have to get 1,500 hours to even become a licensed cosmetologist. Um, and so the school that I went to and the scheduling that they had, they only really had two different, they only had two scheduling. Really, they had daytime, which was Monday through Friday, 9 to night 4 30 which was monday through thursday from 5 30 to 10 so yeah with day school you were full time so that was like i said monday through friday and it was a 11 month program now you could push it to a year i ended up pushing it um, to a year and then there is a two-year program, program, and I wasn't going to do night school. I wasn't. I wasn't going to be there two years, so I went the eleven months, and that was long enough. So, yeah, what makes it different is you have, like I said, Monday through Friday, um, in day school, and it's nine to four thirty, and you get six three-week modules, and you have to learn everything in that in that three weeks whereas in night school you have the same amount of modules but they're six weeks long they're not three weeks so you have longer to learn everything and understand it but at the same time I'm kind of like I would probably get really tired of doing the same thing over again like in skincare you do facials every single day like I don't need a facial every single day and not everybody else needs a facial every single day um, or manicures. In nail care, we did manicures every single day. Like, I don't need to do six weeks of manicures. I didn't have cuticles for a really long time because of how many manicures I had been getting. Um, now I don't get any manicures, so I'm kind of like, oh, I need a manicure. But, yeah. Um, so that, like I said, it depends on your location and your scheduling some schools work with your scheduling so if you need um better or flexible scheduling for your work or children then it's going to be a little bit longer but at least you have the time that you need for the different things that are going on in your life so it depends um and some things are worth it so yeah um how did you find the right school for you so again that kind of goes along with that it depends on for me, I didn't have anything going on. I wasn't working. I don't have kids. Um, the only thing that I... Oh, and that's something I totally forgot to say about the hardest part of cosmetology school was that you really cannot have a life with day school. Like, with it being 9 to 4.30, you really cannot have a life. You really do not feel like you are even an adult because you can't really... You don't want really to spend time with anybody but school that's why i'm saying they really become a family because you're there more than you are at home um and because by the time because when you're at home you're literally you don't feel like doing anything and when you are doing something it's like okay but because the day has already gone by so fast with being at school you doing something else makes the day go by extremely fast and you really don't have any time to yourself you don't have any time for friends you don't have any time to work some people can pull that off where they work and go to school but then they're extremely tired because of the hours that they have to work and then the hours that they have to go to school um so it's just really hard to even function as an adult going daytime um but if you have nothing really going on daytime is the best because you can get everything done and then you can even have the rest of the day to either study or whatnot if you have nothing really going on for me that was why i wasn't working the hours it just was not going to work the places that were hiring they needed the time that i was in that school was out. um so that would probably have to be the hardest 
part about cosmetology school and that is what you really have to focus on when you pick the right school for yourself so for me i didn't go on a bunch of tours i researched a whole bunch of different schools made a list of the schools that i was planning on either going on a tour to or that i was wanting to possibly go to um And Empire had been on the top of the list because it was the closest to me. Um, so that was the top of the list. That was the first place I wanted to go tour because, like I said, it was the closest to me, the easiest to get to. And so I will tell you the schools that I had on my list. So I had Empire. This is no. This isn't in any order. So Empire, Paul Mitchell's, um, Regency, Fortis. I think that was it. I think that was it. Oh, and the um, Maryland Beauty School Academy or Baltimore School of Hair Design or something like that. I will put it across the screen because I don't remember what it was called, but it was that. Um, because there was another YouTuber that I was watching that lives here in Maryland and they went to that school that I was mentioning, the Baltimore School of Hair Design or something. It, used, it also was called the Maryland beauty academy or something like that um in places but the baltimore one is the baltimore school of hair design i believe um so those were the five schools that i was planning on either going to and or touring um so i decided i was going to go to the empire first because that was the closest to me and i went i scheduled a tour and instantly like I liked the place like I liked the look of it um it was kind of in the middle it wasn't really in the middle of nowhere but the little shopping center was kind of like nothing really there I mean there's a bowling alley the school cosmoprof um David's bridal oh a gym and a men's warehouse a Tuesday morning store um a Harbors Freight um, like tool store and a guitar center and then there's a bank What's that called? and a Denny's in the parking lot as well as across the parking lot from everything um and so it's really kind of like nothing it's kind of like a ghost town right there like there's a bunch of people there but really if you didn't know that that was there you probably wouldn't go because it's really nothing. Like, I passed there. that a while ago before being there and before going because I um got my ID, like I got my learner's permit at the MBA that is past that, but never noticed that there was any of that stuff right there. Like I didn't even know there was a Denny's right there um, until that day that I went to go tour. Um, really falling in love with the place off the initial tour and... I didn't need to see anywhere else. I didn't want to see anywhere else. I wanted to go there. No my fans are butts about it. So, um, and I don't exactly remember why or how I ended up getting another meeting or something. And I went back and I had to get my GED and whatnot. So I got all that done. Went back again and signed up and paid and everything. And then I was um, enrolled. And that's how I found the right school for me. For anybody else though, I would say tour everywhere, ask a whole bunch of questions pertaining what you need to know. Like if there's makeup, um, if you really love to do makeup, ask questions about makeup, ask things about like what exactly you're going to be learning, um, how long the program is, if you guys are flexible, um, how it is if you end up having to go over hours uh if you have to pay how much you have to pay for that um 
stress things happen people have to go over hours i was very close to going over my hours at the end so i think you just go ahead and you need to go to schools and figure out what's going to work for you if you have nothing going on then it's more about the um like if you don't drive or if you don't really have anything going on in your life that like work or something like that and that's more about like what's closest to you what's going to be more convenient for you and yeah but the more the conveniency pertains to every situation if you have stuff going on or if you don't you just need to find what's most convenient for you and what's going on in your life um like i said there was nothing really going on in my life at the time that i started like i wasn't working i don't have any kids there wasn't anything serious going on so i went with the closest thing near me and just so happened that i was a really good school so i'm lucky for that um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's any other questions that I didn't answer or that you would like to know after seeing this, let me know in the comments yeah, down so below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.